It's five minutes alone with Martin the Metalhead, starting now. Today's topic, does it really count as a visited country if I just go to the airport to change planes? Okay, this has been my scenario in my travels. In 2016, I flew from Istanbul to Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. I had like a four hour layover within the airport. Now at the time, there was not any tourist visas for Saudi Arabia. As a matter of fact, Saudi Arabia was a really hard country for anybody to get into unless they were doing a, you know, Hajj pilgrimage or they had business in the country. This was way before e visas happened. I counted this as a visit to Saudi Arabia because of a few things. One, I withdrew money out of the ATM. Two, I interacted with local people. And I, and three, I bought local dishes like dates from Saudi Arabia. And I had an interesting story, which is number four, is that I was playing Super Mario Brothers 3 on my computer, and about 10 children just gathered around my PC saying, wow, we know this video game. I'm like, yes, this video game came out when your parents were teenagers, so your parents should be introducing you to this. So, but, but the uh, different side of it is that in that transit, I did not really set foot on the, the tarmac, but I do count it as a visited country because of those reasons. Two years ago, I was flying from Paris to Kenya, Nairobi, and then on to Johannesburg, South Africa. Now, uh, when I got off the plane, I walked on the tarmac to walk into a bus, and then the horrendous process of having to go through security again and rushing to get to my gate before my flight depart, but luckily they held the plane for me, which is a good thing. I counted that I stepped foot on Kenyan soil because I was on the tarmac. A lot of people say that airports are international zones, but you've got to remember, airports are owned by the government of that country you're visiting. So, yes, I, I do believe that I, I can say I have been to uh, Nairobi, Kenya, even though I haven't seen anything but outside the airport. But I, I still spent some money at the airport, I interacted with local people, and I set foot on Kenyan soil, so it just counts. Uh, last month, I was in Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, Abidjan. Didn't give myself the time to get a proper visa, but I still counted this tr two transits in Abidjan because of a few things. I interacted with local people, I withdrew the local currency, I uh, bought local food, and once in a while, I actually stepped a foot on the tarmac. So I thought, yeah. I can count that I've been onto Ivory Coast because my feet are on Ivory Coast and soil. If I had just flown in from Togo to Abidjan and then stayed on the plane as the plane refueled and then flew off to Burkina Faso, then I would not have counted that I'd been to Ivory Coast. Um, I, I think it depends on how you see as visiting country or not. I mean, some people have said, Oh, I went to Slovakia and I just walked around for three hours, but I haven't seen anything. I can literally say the same thing for Finland and Slovenia. I've never seen anything of much about these two countries, but I've traveled through them. I've had my feet on the ground, I've spent money in these countries. But I don't have many good stories to tell about Slovenia and Finland because, hey, I was passing through on the way to Austria, or I was on the, on the way to Sweden. Now, if you really want to, you know, say that you've been to a country, and of course, there's m many different factors, like did you interact with local people, did you see something, did you spend money, did you um, have a look around, did you spend more than 24 hours in the country, did you um, s chat up with a local person, did you, uh, did you buy a souvenir, did you, did you do something miraculous? Like if I could say that I've been to Belgium a few times, and I've hardly seen anything of Belgium, but I got good stories of the Red Light District, of Brussels, or falling asleep and hitting a pickpocketer with my tent in Brussels. That's pretty much my stories of Belgium, but I've been to Belgium so many times and traveled through it, and I still count that I've been to Belgium. Anyway, the five minutes are almost up. Smart in the millhead, over and out.